Hi everybody and welcome back to the painting channel. Today we have a prize draw for that painting on my 10,000 subscriber special and we also have a demo. So let's roll the intro, let's see how we get on. Hi everybody and welcome back to this eagerly anticipated video and why is that? It's because today I am drawing the winner of this particular painting, one that I did two weeks ago uh, as part of the video and part of my celebration of reaching 10,000 subscribers. Since that time we have gone way over 11,000 so I thank each and every one of you who have come on board and started supporting the channel whether you started way back when or whether you just come on board recently. I thank you and I couldn't keep doing these videos without you. So today I'm going to be drawing the winner of this one and you can probably see over my shoulder to that side the wheel spinning wheel with all the names on. Now I looked around I've never really done anything this large before but what I tried to do is find one of these randomly spinning wheels that would give me a single name. Unfortunately, I couldn't really do that. And the reason for that is that we had 92 registered entries. And these uh, spinning things will only allow, I think it's about 68. So what I had to do is devise a means to make it fair. So what I've actually done is I split two wheels. I've got two ready to go and there are 46 names on each and to make the outcome as fair as I can as well what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin each wheel twice and that's going to generate four one two three yeah four <laughs> four potential winners those will be put into a final wheel and the four of you will compete and one of you will win this picture hold it out the right way it'd be good there you go one of you in the outcome will win this picture and i will contact you and if you give me your uh, postal details i'll get it shipped out to you as soon as is practical so with that said and done what else am i doing well it's a very short video on top of that this week because i wanted to get this done and i didn't want to take up so much time with this that I actually didn't get time for doing a proper demo. So what I've done is I've done a small abstract landscape demo for you this week. It's watercolor and ink. And when I say ink, it's not a, a waterproof ink. It's a normal writing ink by a company called Quink, which is very well known in the UK. I'm not sure how well known they are around the world, but certainly in the UK, I've grown up with that name and it's one way of refilling your fountain pens and carrying on writing. But it's long been known that if you can use some of these, that the colors within them are made up of constituent colors. And when they are added with lots of water, they actually start separating. So you can get some fantastic effects that way. And so that is what I've done. I hope you'll enjoy that. And it's a little voiceover, but it is in real time. So it didn't take a lot of time to do. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope the winner uh, will be very, very pleased. I'm sure so. And I look forward to making contact with that person very, very soon. So in the meantime, let's get on and let's get this draw oh no let's get on and get this demo done because the draw will be towards the end of this video so take care get to the end watch the draw catch it all in next week's video take care everybody happy painting stay safe wherever you are bye bye for now bye bye hey care everybody let's get underway this is quite a quick video but it is a lovely abstract landscape i wanted to demonstrate for you in just two colors i'm using Payne's gray and my lovely uh, translucent orange that pyrrole orange from Daniel Smith I'm using my large Harke brush and I am wetting the paper to start off with now the paper is a small 12 by 9 block and it's not going anywhere it may well buckle up a little bit but it will soon straighten out but I'm just putting on a superficial layering of Payne's gray just starting to feel my way forward I have no idea what I'm going to be doing 
and how it's going to end up at this point. I am just merely feeling my way forward. I'm just putting colors down, see how they start to spread, looking at how wet the paper is, whether I need to wet it more or whether I need to come in a little bit drier with a thicker mix. A lot of the mixes are quite dry and allowing the paint, uh, the water that's already on the paper to make them move. So it's quite thick color. It's, it's probably a little bit more creamy than milky or tea. But now I'm loosening some of it up. I want that water to spread it. I want it to have a little bit of freedom to move where it wants to do with a subtle bit of control by me. I'm arresting some of it by allowing the uh, paint to sort of move only so far down and then clipping it across with a Harke brush. I really like the idea of this cloud being quite a menacing cloud, quite a thundery cloud. So I came in with some extra uh, Payne's Grey at this point. Now the Payne's Grey is a Windsor & Newton Payne's Grey and I use that pretty much exclusively for this. You could use Indigo if you wanted to. And I said about the Pyrol Orange from um, Daniel Smith, you could also use the Translucent Orange from Schminke if you, or Schminke, depending on how you say that, as to what you would like to use. It's something, it doesn't have to be either of those. It's something very similar, will have a very similar effect. But you can see where the water has gone. Only where water is will paint flow, remember that. So if you have a wash coming down and you stop your wash or move your wash around a dry object, such as a house or a tree or something of that, then it the water will not go there unless there's so much uh, water in the pigment it should not move it will stay there a big brash statement of the orange now coming right the way through the bottom end of that sky but allowing it with the water to flow down and do its own thing the two will mingle and i'm not worried about that at all i just get quite excited about how organically this painting grows and that's what this sort of thing is about it doesn't take a lot of time to do but watching it grow organically like this is a whole heap of fun. I'm sort of taking a little bit of back now with a dry towel, well, quite a wet towel to be quite honest with you, and uh, just arresting some of the movement, and you'll see why later on. Back in now with a little bit of both colors together, a little bit more of the blue than the orange, mainly the um, blue though, just to come across here and give me some form of land. Now, I'm not sure at this point where I'm going to take this. I had an idea of dunes in my head. Uh, you know, we've got some wonderful dunes. That, and I witnessed one day when I was there with some friends and colleagues that we did a wonderful group of paintings on a very, very stormy day. The whole afternoon, uh, we were dodging rain showers and heavy rain showers. I mean, the lovely light contrast between the sand and the dunes and the very, very heavy dark clouds. This is what it reminded me of. And so I had that in the back of my mind while I was doing this. Now I'm turning the canvas around and some little trick here is if you are going to do something of this nature, then make sure your painting or your paper is taped down or if it's a block, not a big problem, but make sure it's not fixed to a great big surface that is unwielding and you have an inability to move it around quite freely. If it's a single sheet, tape it down to a small board. If it's a big block like this or any block like this, then you have much more freedom to just move it where you want it to. But it allows the paint to move in directions that you want it to. It's going to flow wherever gravity allows it to. So by twisting it around and playing with it, then you're actually making a contrived or a constant decision that will make it move in a certain way. I'm still playing around with that sky and I want some really heavy paint up there. Now it's got a little bit more water to it, but it is still nonetheless very, very thick because if I make it too thin, it's just gonna go to nothing. It's gonna roll down that page too quickly and I'm gonna have some awful marks that I don't really want. When you're doing this sort of thing, if you have successive layers then make sure every layer that you put on is got less water in it than the layer before and that way it should allow you to stay clear 
of having unsightly cauliflowers. But look at the way there's a little bit of dampness under that cloud in the, in the paper beyond, uh, underneath it. Just enough to make that paint spread. Not rapidly, just a little bit. Now I'm using that quink ink and it is the black quink ink. I tried the blue and it didn't have any good results. But this is the black and I guess the black is made up of some sort of uh, red or yellow and the blue to give it the black appearance and at the moment it doesn't look anything it's just a shape on the paper it is like watercolor spreading but now see what happens when I start to make it spread further as that moves down the page you can see that the orange is accentuated as the yellow comes out of the ink itself and I really enjoyed this part of the process because it, it just showed me how the ink separated up and created so much more but we're a long way from finished yet and we've still got a ways to go i keep looking at that cloud and i love it and i may go back in and do a little bit more on it which i'm doing on the right hand side now just to give it a good finish on or against that tape on the right hand side although i do apologize it's slightly off camera i wasn't aware of that when i filmed it but you get the idea of what's going on I'm actually now just sprayed a little bit just to make it move a little faster and I'm cleaning my tapes around the edges constantly especially on the tops and sides where water could come traveling back in and make its presence felt on the washes that you don't want it to now I'm going to make this paint move back down toward me and let gravity do its thing you can see the way that the ink is starting to move and again sadly off a of camera I am actually uh, adding some more inks to run down and the paint is going to be a little stronger because it, although the ink is pure there's not as much water at this point on this section so as I put the ink in it's reinforcing the shapes at the top and I can construct what could be or sense of a little stronger uh, landscape in the far distance creating I don't know landscape or dunes or whatever but that was the idea that I had I still had the dunes in mind but you can see how that ink is starting to separate up and create that lovely glow in that black ink or the blue and the yellow I think it works really well spent a few minutes looking at this and I really like the way it's turned out I wanted some of the water to move this way on those contours that I'd done on the right hand side of the painting but pretty much I'm happy with it it was a very very quick painting very spontaneous painting and it suggested the dunes at canvas sands to me 
Now, the thing is that you can go off and play and have your own bit of fun on bits of paper. That paper doesn't have to be very expensive cotton rag. It can be wood pulp. But it's always got to be noted that cotton paper will always be better than wood pulp. But you do and you play around on whatever you have. But the main thing is to have fun and experiment with these things. See what happens when you start putting colors down, making them move with water, all these things, adding salt, clean film, all the uh, different tricks and things that you can pick up along the way to create a wonderful abstract impression. This one I had a lot of fun with and I was able to get the thing finished very, very quickly with minimal effort. But it just suggested magic to me about Canva from almost the get-go. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I do hope that you'll have a go about it, uh, have a go yourself. There is no reference this week to download from my Patreon, but please take a look over there anyway. You'd be welcome to come on board. I'd love to have your support over there, but in the meantime, take care, everybody. Happy painting. Stay safe wherever you are. Catch each and every one of you next Friday. Take care. Bye bye. Take care, everybody. So here goes. Now, I do apologize for the crudity of the way this is being filmed, but it was the only option that I had. So forgive that. Um, but it's all being recorded in real time. So I'm going to press the button to go and we're going to generate the first, I suppose you'll call semi finalist. So here we go. Put the mouse there. There we go. <laughs> Karen Harrison. Okay, well done, Karen. You've made it to the next part. So we'll spin it again. Caroline Wilkinson. Well done, Caroline. So you're the second semi-finalist. So the next set, here we go. First spin. Deborah Hopkins. Well done, Deborah. Close that off and we'll have our final spin on these two wheels. Regina, I can't say that, Heli Bake, sorry if I got that spelling wrong, but Regina, well done, you are our final semi-finalist, as it were, or finalist. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is put those four names into the final wheel, and we shall see exactly who the outcome will be. And I will Okay, everybody, well, the four names, that is Deborah, Regina, Caroline, and Karen. You're all in this final spin, and one of you will be picking up this painting. So I wish each and every one of you good luck. And here we go with the final spin, and we're going to see exactly who I'm going to be sending this painting to. And by the way, all of you who entered and took the trouble, thank you so much for doing that. I enjoyed the comments. I enjoyed all of that that week that was fantastic don't forget to comment as many times as you like on as many of my videos as you like they're always welcome and i love reading them and i'll always reply to them here we go well there you go it's karen karen harrison you are the owner of this new painting so well done. I wish uh, we need to get in touch so that I know where to ship this to. And um, and if you're nearby, you can come and pick it up or I can come and deliver. <laughs> I'm only teasing you. Wherever it is, not a problem. I'll get it packed up and it will be off to you as soon as we can make contact. So thank you very, very much, everybody who has taken part in this. And well done once again, Karen. 
Okay, everybody, I had a lot of fun doing that, and I know there's a bit of anticipation involved, but I just want to say a big, big thank you again for everybody who come on recently to support the channel, become a subscriber, and uh, get involved, certainly with the competition. And congratulations once again to Karen, who has won this uh, painting, and I will get in touch with her very soon, I hope, and get this off in the post safely to her. So with that said and done, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything to do that, but it also helps the channel grow. Add comments and also click that like button. That's fantastic. If you do that, I'd be greatly appreciated. And don't forget, any versions of paintings done of my tutorials, please put them over on the Painting with Paul apps. Fantastic, that would be great. And also don't forget there is a very, very active patron. And I just wanted to say here to any of you who are my patrons out there right now, thank you so much for your support coming on to Patreon. I have increased quite a few recently and that is fantastic. And I appreciate each and every one of you. I really do because without your input, without your support on my Patreon, I can't keep making all these videos and they do take a long time to do and work out, edit and get ready for you to watch them. So all the money that you put into my Patreon goes to that purpose and I thank you for it. You are very much appreciated. So with that all said and done, subscribe, do all those things, add your comments. I catch each and every one of you in the next video and uh, that's next Friday as are all of them every Friday. British time, 3 p.m., something to look forward to. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. Congratulations again, Karen. Bye-bye. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to this We'll start again then. Hi everybody and welcome to the painting channel and today it's a really bit of a really bit of <laughs> well it is a bit <clears throat> start that again then painting channel today it's the well, what is it that's the prize draw that's what it is and a demo if you're lucky so let's roll the intro and let's see who won and who didn't win. <laughs> How silly is that? <clears throat> Back to the painting to channel to channel to channel. Hi everybody and welcome back. Now this is an eagerly anticipated uh, edit editorial no video. And it will be sent off in due course.